After World War II, the world was left with battlefields, death camps and hidden artifacts that were unknown to us. But did you know there are still hundreds of relics waiting to be discovered? Stick around until we reach number one to uncover a discovery that shows how a German soldier secretly helped his family find safety. And now, let's get started. Bunker for Churchill's Secret Army Hidden away in Coles Hill was a secret training base for Winston Churchill's underground army. Winston Churchill had a covert group of fighters selected for their knowledge of local areas. These brave individuals were trained in enemy assassination and launching surprise attacks. During World War II, around 500 bunkers were built for these fighters to engage German soldiers. Luckily, Great Britain remained uninvaded due to a pact among the builders to keep the bunkers a secret. Over time, most of these bunkers faded into obscurity. However, in 2020, researchers from Forestry and Land Scotland, tasked with uncovering lost historical sites, stumbled upon one of these hidden bunkers. A member of the research team remembered a childhood play area in the forest, which led them to the underground bunker. Measuring 23 feet in length and 20 feet in width, the bunker was discovered, but its exact location remains undisclosed. It's a fascinating glimpse into a piece of history that was almost forgotten. An Enigma Machine In the midst of World War II, the Germans used the Enigma machine to send secret messages that seemed impossible to decipher. The story of how British and Polish codebreakers managed to crack these codes, shortening the war significantly, has become a legendary tale. Fast forward to 2020, and a diving team exploring the Baltic Sea had a surprising find reminiscent of the Enigma machine. Their original mission was to clear abandoned fishing nets from the Bay of Gelton near Germany. Amidst the nets, they stumbled upon something more fascinating, a rusty typewriter. As they inspected it further, it became clear that this wasn't an ordinary typewriter. Speculations arose that a German warship might have tossed the device into the water after the war. After spending decades in seawater, the machine was successfully restored. Now it's proudly on display in a museum, offering a glimpse into a piece of history hidden beneath the waves. A village's secret. In a remarkable feat during World War II, the Cornish community of St. Earth managed to keep an extraordinary secret. They housed the M16 outstation in their village and despite the presence of thousands, everyone kept their lips sealed. This outstation had a covert mission. It eavesdropped on German radio communications, providing a comprehensive understanding of the German war machine. The British knew surprising details about the Germans, leaving some German officers astonished. Around a hundred individuals were part of this listening station, including Harry Rifts. Even after his passing, the secrecy persisted as he left his code book with his son. Today, the only remnants of this hidden station are an old guard and a worn out gate, silently preserving the memory of the remarkable wartime secret. USS Independence. The USS Independence was part of a group of 90 ships involved in Operation Crossroads, the atomic bomb test at Bikini Atoll in the Marshall Islands. Unfortunately, after sinking in 1951, the ship disappeared from public knowledge. Just a few months ago, researchers made an exciting discovery, locating the shipwreck in the northern area of Monterey Bay National Marine Sanctuary. They began examining sonar images to figure out whether the vessel had been used as a radiological laboratory or a place to store nuclear waste. The USS Independence played a significant role in the Central and Western Pacific from November 1943 to August 1945. Now, the discovery of its sunken remains adds a new chapter to its history, offering insights into the aftermath of its service in Operation Crossroads. Mi-262, jet inside of a bomb crater. Picture this, a Messerschmitt 262 jet snugly nestled inside a bomb crater. What on earth is that? 
Well, it happens to be the world's first operational jet fighter, the Messerschmitt 262, making waves during the chaos of the Second World War. As air warfare took center stage, the Messerschmitt 262 wreaked havoc on land, sea and air targets that were once considered out of reach. The ability to launch attacks from the skies provided a significant advantage to those in the air. As the war progressed, more advanced aircraft emerged, causing even more widespread destruction. Fast forward to June 2010, during construction work in Göttingen, Germany. A buried Allied 500kg bomb was unearthed from 23 feet below the surface. An expert team tried to disarm the bomb, but tragically, it detonated, resulting in three fatalities and six injuries. In another noteworthy incident in October 2014, Dutch workers stumbled upon a jet plane on farmland near the Deelen Air Base in Arnhem, Netherlands. It's believed that the aircraft was shot down in 1944 and the pilot lost their life in the crash. The Germans, keen on concealing the wreckage, strategically placed it in a bomb crater, keeping it hidden for years. These discoveries offer glimpses into the untold stories of wartime incidents and the lasting impact they had on the landscape. Graf Zeppelin Back in the days of World War II, the Germans built just one aircraft carrier, and it went by the name Graf Zeppelin. Launched in 1938, a year before the war kicked off, Hitler had big plans, claiming the aircraft carrier would be ready for action by 1942. By 1943 it was 95% complete, but then something unexpected happened. Hitler lost interest in the project and left it hanging. After the war, to keep the Russians from getting any German engineering secrets, the aircraft carrier was intentionally sunk in the shallow waters off Poland. The story took a surprising turn when the Russians discovered it in 1946 and decided to move it to Leningrad. There, they used it for target practice, bombarding it with over 24 bombs. Surprisingly, the carrier refused to sink, floating defiantly. It wasn't until decades later, in 2006, that Petro Baltic stumbled upon the wreckage lying about 264 feet below the water near Davenport. The once lost aircraft carrier Graf Zeppelin had finally been found, revealing a piece of history hidden beneath the waves. Hijams Musashi Japanese Battleship The Japanese battleship Musashi, once a mighty vessel, met its end after World War II. It wasn't until 2015 that the wreckage was discovered in the Sibuyan Sea near the Philippines. Researchers were able to confirm the identity of the ship by spotting a distinctive feature, the Type 89 gunner turret. In its heyday, the Musashi held the title of the largest battleship ever built, proudly belonging to the exclusive Yamato class in the Japanese Navy. Unfortunately, it fell victim to a US attack that involved 19 torpedoes and 17 bombs. The credit for discovering the wreckage goes to a team led by Paul Al, making the find in 2015. Since 2006, various multinational events have taken place to commemorate the fallen heroes of the Musashi. Japan, deeply invested in honoring its history, began discussions in 2008 to locate the remains of the battleship. At that time, they believed the Musashi had sunk intact, but the discovery revealed a different reality. The wreckage was found in a state of disarray. This find shed new light on the fate of the Musashi, marking another chapter in the history of this once mighty battleship. P-40, Kitty Hawk. After more than 70 years of being lost, the body of an RAF pilot was finally found deep in the Egyptian desert. Flight Sergeant Copping had gone missing in 1942, when he failed to return to the airbase after his mission flight in a Curtis Kitty Hawk fighter jet. Rumours circulated for years about what happened to him, with many believing he was shot down near the Egypt-Libya border. However, in 2012 the mystery began to unravel. A team of Polish oil workers discovered the wreckage of the plane and the pilot's body. Surprisingly, the findings suggested that Flight Sergeant Copping survived the crash and attempted to make it back to base on foot, but succumbed to the extreme desert heat. Remarkably, 
The plane's remains were well preserved due to the arid conditions, preventing significant corrosion of the metal surface. Despite more than 13,000 Kitty Hawks being manufactured, only 28 of them are still operational today. The discovery of Flight Sergeant Copping's resting place sheds light on a long lost chapter of history in the vast Egyptian desert. Carrier Pigeon in Chimney In Surrey, England, the remains of a carrier pigeon, along with a coded message, were discovered in a chimney after spending decades hidden away. This intriguing find occurred in 2012, and the coded message is believed to potentially contain further details about the Second World War, if someone can decode it. During the war, the UK utilised over 250,000 pigeons, with 32 of them earning the Dickin Medal, the highest decoration for valour bestowed upon animals. Notable recipients included the Irish Pigeon Patty and the United States Army Pigeon Services G.I. Joy. Regrettably, the mystery of the coded message may persist forever because, to this day, no one has successfully cracked the code. This discovery adds a touch of mystery to the war team use of carrier pigeons and the valuable role they played in communicating essential information. Millions of silver coins. Here's a truly captivating tale from wartime. A British-led team has accomplished an incredible feat by recovering a trove of silver coins valued at $44 million from a sunken steamship. This steamship, the SS City of Cairo, met its demise at a record depth of 17,000 feet after being torpedoed by the Germans. Belonging to Ella Malinis and under the command of Captain William Rogerson, the SS City of Cairo was a combination of cargo and passenger ship. In 1942, during its voyage, tragedy struck. The ship, carrying 296 people and a cargo of 100 tons of silver coins for the UK Treasury, was attacked soon after setting sail and sank within minutes. The fascinating part begins in November 2011, when a salvage company decided to search for the wreckage. This venture presented numerous challenges as the water depth exceeded 17,000 feet and the site was a thousand miles away from the nearest land, situated in the foothills of the Mid-Atlantic Ridge. Navigating through challenging currents and swells, the team faced an uphill battle. Against the odds, their efforts proved worthwhile. The salvage team successfully recovered the valuable silver coins, making this wartime discovery a remarkable achievement that highlights the determination and skill required to uncover treasures hidden in the depths of the ocean. Panther tank in a basement garage. Let me tell you about a surprising event that took place in June 2015. An Akil prosecutor had suspicions about war relics hidden in a villa in Hakendorf. To confirm this, the only option was to carry out a police raid. In Germany, possessing weapons or war relics was a serious crime, making this a significant operation. The raiding team got to work and what they discovered was beyond belief. Buried in an underground garage were not just one but two fully intact panther tanks, along with various weapons from the Nazi era. The villa where this treasure trove was found belonged to a 70-year-old man known for his love of warm milks. Locals had no idea what he was hiding until the raid unfolded. Despite considering him a quiet person, the revelation was astonishing. Now, the Panther tank is under the ownership of the German Federal Police, marking an unexpected twist in the story of a seemingly unassuming villa in Heikendorf. An Irish message for pilots. Let me share a fascinating story about an unexpected discovery in Dublin. Hidden on Hoth Head for years, an important sign only surfaced when a gorse fire revealed its existence. This sign, once concealed, has now been restored to its former glory. Back in the days of World War II, not all countries rushed into the conflict. Ireland, for clear reasons, chose to remain neutral. However, they had a unique concern, the possibility of other bombers dropping explosives on their territory. So in the summer of 1944, they devised a clever solution. Using 150 tons of stones, they spelled out air in whitewashed letters on Howth Head. Era means Ireland in the Irish language, 
and the sign served as a bold reminder for airborne pilots that they were flying over neutral territory. Fast forward to 2018, when wildfires swept through Wicklow in Ireland. The blaze had an unexpected consequence. It unveiled the once hidden air sign on Howth Head. Interestingly, a police helicopter had flown over the fire initially, but didn't make much sense of the reveal. It turns out there are approximately 83 such signs along the Irish coast, each manned by a postman for 24 hours a day during World War II to guard against a potential German invasion. This story highlights a unique and strategic measure taken by Ireland during a time of global conflict. German Stash let me share an intriguing discovery from 2021 in Hagen, Germany. After floods wreaked havoc in the area, a woman reached out to a family member for help in cleaning her house. During the cleanup, they came across a surprising find, a hidden space in the wall revealed after removing rotten plasterboard. To their astonishment, this secret compartment contained a trove of historical items, documents, gas masks, a revolver, brass knuckles, letters, a portrait of Adolf Hitler, Nazi party patches, and even a newspaper from 1945. This discovery, as you might be aware, ties back to a common practice among Germans during World War II. Sensitive materials were often concealed when Allied troops entered their cities. Upon further examination by researchers, it was revealed that the house served as the local headquarters for the National Socialist People's Welfare engaged in ongoing relief operations. The materials shed light on the organization's role during the Nazi regime, offering a glimpse into the history concealed within the walls of this unsuspecting house in Hagen. Lost Tale of Count's Death Let me tell you about a remarkable discovery made by a teenager in 2017 at Lake Zazerac in Poland. While she was there, she unearthed old milk cans containing personal items like documents, valuables, and even a German officer's uniform. Little did she know that this find would turn out to be the discovery of a lifetime. Authorities later identified the owner of these items as an aristocratic Prussian count named Hans Joachim von Finkenstein. During the war, his family lived near the lake when it was still a German province. Researchers gained more insight into how these items ended up there when they traced the Count's daughter, Waltraut, who was 81 years old at the time. She explained that she and her sister were sent away before Russian soldiers invaded the region. Unfortunately, their parents stayed behind. The Count was captured by Soviet soldiers and sadly died in a prison camp. Before reuniting with her children in Germany, his wife took the heartbreaking step of burying his personal effects near the lake. This discovery not only unveils a piece of history, but also tells a poignant story of wartime separation and the sacrifices made by families during those challenging times. Outro thanks for watching the video, and if you found it informative, please like and subscribe to Time Capsule for similar content. We look forward to sharing more knowledge with you in the future. Until then, take care.